It's been a rough couple of weeks and I want to talk about a more lighthearted and just a fun story that is going to make all of you feel good. So by now, if you're not familiar with Ken Klippenstein, then I don't know what you're doing with your life. But this is journalist Ken Klippenstein. And pictured in this photograph, you can see him uh, doing his hobby. He's on Twitter and he is trolling Republicans just masterfully and easily. And no matter how many times he trolls them, they fall for it every single time time. So on Memorial Day, he decided to tweet at a couple of Republicans with a very simple request. So he tweeted to Matt Gates, Congressman, my grandpa's a big fan of yours and is a veteran. He would be thrilled if you could retweet this photo of him for Memorial Day. Here he is as a young private first class. Happy Memorial Day. Now, this is not a photograph of Ken Klippenstein's grandfather. This is a photograph of Lee Harvey Oswald, the individual who assassinated President John F. Kennedy. Now, of course, Matt Gates did, in fact, retweet this image. Uh, but more importantly, once he did, Ken Klippenstein then changed his Twitter name to Matt Gates is a pedo. Just brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not all. Because the American Conservative Union president, who also is, I believe, the organizer of CPAC, uh, he was tweeted at by Ken Klippenstein, and he decided to respond as well, saying, Wow, Ken Klippenstein, it's my honor to retweet the photo of a veteran on a day we remember his fallen friends. God bless your grandfather and America. Oh, and he also got Dinesh D'Souza to retweet him as well, and quickly after... Lee Harvey Oswald started trending on Twitter because so many conservatives were duped. And we're not just talking about ordinary conservatives. He got high profile conservatives to retweet an image of Lee Harvey Oswald. It's just it's it's beautiful. Like, I don't know how else to describe this level of trolling. Like the skill here is top tier. Like this is legendary. Now, once Lee Harvey Oswald was trending, uh, when enough conservatives found out what Cl Ken Klippenstein was doing. Then came the pearl clutching, of course, and this is the best part of the story, in my opinion. So, Candace Owens actually took notice, and she tweeted at Ken Klippenstein saying, you are making a mockery of a day that is meant to memorialize men that died so that you and other anti-American leftists can laugh at their sacrifices by photoshopping a murderer into their uniforms. You are deranged. Now, in case you weren't aware of this, uh, Ken Klippenstein did not photoshop Lee Harvey Oswald into a uniform. That was a real picture of him. Second of all, I think it's really cute that she thinks that our imperialist wars are fought so that way we can have freedom here in America. Like, you can just see how brainwashed she is. Uh, but Ken Klippenstein responded perfectly by saying, would not have guessed you cared so much about being politically correct, to which she responded saying, it's not about political correctness, to have a soul and a modicum of decency. Reminder, these men died, the majority of them on foreign soil, so that you could be free. You do not Photoshop murderers into their uniforms so that you can have a laugh. So in case you're not grasping the argument that she's making here, when she's offended by something that's politically incorrect, then actually it's not about PC outrage. It's just about mm, her genuinely being offended, which is different somehow than the usual PC police that her and conservatives denounce all the time. Okay, makes sense. And again, she said that she thinks that the picture was photoshopped. Um... But for whatever reason, she decided to delete all of those tweets. I don't believe this like at all, just so you know. Of course. I mean, look, this isn't the first time, as I mentioned earlier, that Ken Klippenstein has duped conservatives. Back in 2019, on the 4th of July, he tweeted to Steve King an image of Jack Nicholson saying, Sir, can I get a retweet for my uncle, uh, Colonel Nathan Jessup? He's in the Marines and spending the 4th overseas keeping our nation safe. And not only did Steve King retweet this image, but he actually added a really nice little... Um, uh, message saying, Colonel Jessup and all your Marines, God bless you all. You have our back and millions of us have yours. God bless America and all her warriors defending our liberty. And of course, once he retweeted Ken Klippenstein, uh, Ken Klippenstein changed his name to Steve King as a white supremacist. I mean, it was a photograph of Jack Nicholson. <laughs> and Steve King fell for it. And he did this to Rick Grinnell as well. I think on Memorial Day in 2019, he got him to retweet an image of an American war criminal. It's just every single time Ken Klippenstein uh, 
he pulls this off flawlessly and they never get it because they're too stupid and they're ignorant of history. So uh, this is just brilliant. Ken Klippenstein is a legend. He's a king. And uh, I'll leave you with some words from our friend Snoop Dogg about the legend Ken Klippenstein. This motherfucker don't miss. No, he's fucking good. That motherfucker don't miss, man. He's good. In the heat of battle, he don't miss. No. In the heat of controversy, he don't miss. No. Recovery mode, my brain ideas. Recovery mode, my brain ideas.